Hi, this is Carla Peralta and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about anxiety, which is on all of our minds and it's super important um, in these times. So I hope that this video can help you and we're going to be talking about a couple of tips on how to decrease, because we don't want anxiety in our life, how to decrease anxiety. So number one, give thanks for your issue. So whatever it is that you're anxious about, give thanks about it. For example, my kids left a mess. Well, I have kids and we have stuff to make mess with, right? I have a flat tire. Well, at least I have a car, right? So anything that we are anxious about or worried about, we can flip that over and see the good in it, right? Number two, do not accept other people's anxiety. So just because my colleague is worried about a certain test we have to take doesn't mean that I have to worry about it right we can't allow other people's stress or thoughts about uh, a certain topic or situation to make us feel the same as they do we don't need it to carry over anxiety if you're feeling anxious over there doesn't mean that i have to feel anxious over here right number three understand the repercussions of anxiety on your mind and body so being anxious at all times it's super unhealthy for the mind and the body okay it will affect for example our heart our blood pressure our uh, respiratory system our digestive system so being uh, under stress is definitely not good for your health we want to avoid it. Um, number four when you're feeling anxious monitor your body and your breathing so stop and check yourself and say hey wait a minute am I breathing in deeply do i feel my body or is my body like here tense right my shoulders all the way up all of my muscles crunched right how am i feeling how can i relax my body i like to practice relaxation techniques on a daily basis because i have a pretty tough schedule so i'm going to give you my favorite tip i get two cotton pads right um and i wet them with water you can also use chamomile water. water is just fine and you put them in the freezer for two minutes at that point you set up a place where you can lay down um, hopefully with your feet up and you turn off all devices or you put them on airplane mode right you want no interruptions you set up a timer at least 10 15 minutes or more if you can and then you pull out those cotton pads and you put them on your eyes and you just lay down you'll find that you'll even drift into a little bit of sleep but this is a great way to relax and to reboot yourself to reset yourself so practice on a daily basis things that allow you to relax where you can relax your muscles and your breathing and your mind and hopefully reconnect with yourself okay number five ask yourself is what i am worried about and gonna be important in one year in five months in five years probably not so if my kid uh, got a ticket on my car parking ticket is that gonna be a big deal in one year probably not so why stress about it so much now if it's not that big of a deal anyhow right number six stop procrastinating oh my god that's a hard one for me uh, but we have to do it either we we have to do less or plan better okay because when we're late for things we get a lot of anxiety we're late for a paper we're late to an appointment um we're late with our kid for something we need to stop procrastinating okay you're either again doing too much or doing poor planning and you know you can fix that right number seven stay away from people or things that cause you anxiety so if i know that speaking to a certain friend is gonna leave me drained and anxious and worried, then I need to leave that talk for another time, um, another day, another situation. So I can't be near things that increase my anxiety. No boy, no, okay? Number eight, find someone safe uh, to talk to about how you feel. So who is a friend or a family member or a spiritual leader that causes you to feel calm and that understands your situation Discuss it with them. Talk about the wound them. Get some wisdom and decrease your anxiety. Next one. <laughs> Next one is, final one. Use your higher power belief system to decrease your anxiety. So what spiritual book do you read? 
okay or what church do you attend or or place of worship do you attend in that place of worship or in that book uh, spiritual book there are topics about how to decrease anxiety worry and stress find out what they say and and listen and learn about that so that you can decrease your anxiety i'm going to end this video um, and you'll see some encouraging words from different spiritual books that you can take to heart learn and repeat so that you can again learn to decrease your anxiety it's been a pleasure if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like and share so that other people could also improve and decrease their anxiety thank you